Welcome to part three of Ibs making fun of JoJo fans. If you're unaware of the relationship I have with JoJo, Here's a quick rundown. In August of 2019, I made a video about JoJo and why it's overrated, and two and a half years later, I'm still getting comments on that video. I would say 90% of the video is one of the three jokes that JoJo fans have. It's like they have a dartboard of like just three panels with jokes on them that they throw the dart at, and whatever it lands on, they comment. The other comments were just standard hate comments, or uh, the Rocky Forgot moments were debunked, which they weren't, and I'm about to debunk the debunks here in a second. And despite all these hate comments, I still had a positive like ratio, so ratio plus JoJo's overrated plus a Rocky Forgot plus YB's better. Anyways, you guys know how JoJo fans only have one joke? Okay, okay. You guys know how JoJo fans only have like two jokes? A lot of people in the comments were referring me to Hammond Beats' A Rocky Forgot series, so I decided to finally check it out. And he debunks a lot of the minor stuff pretty well, but when it gets to the major debunking, he just uses his own speculation. Which once again, in my first video, I said that's what JoJo fans do when shit doesn't make sense. If you watch JoJo for the story, you're gonna have to pretend that it makes sense, you know? Here, I'll play the clip just so you guys can hear it. Considering that it's a secret compartment, there's probably a secretive way to open it. If Dio had customized a coffin that can shoot out a crystal from the inside to kill people, I'm sure that he would have had a way to open the coffin straight into the bottom portion, either from the lid itself or through a false bottom. You can't just be like, oh, well this gem trap exists, so I assume there's gonna be also a false bottom. If there was no false bottom written in or shown or anything, then it doesn't exist, it's not canon. In literally the same explanation, he talks about how they might have explained it in some novels, but they're quote unquote non-canon, so he's not gonna use them. Some explanations have been given in a couple of different JoJo novels, but those are non-canon, so I will not be using those. But apparently his own imagination and own speculation is more canon. I'm really confused. I mean, yeah, I just rewatched the entire video and a lot of it's just speculation that you have to try and connect. Is it really that hard to just admit that your favorite show has flaws? I mean, the fact that so many people even bring up these flaws that are quote unquote debunked just shows that the show itself is very confusing to the average viewer. Unless you're like some Jojo nerd with an imagination as a coping mechanism for why your show doesn't make sense, then the show is not gonna make sense. You yourself can go through the video and whenever he says, I think, or I assume, or if he just uses his own explanations and imagination, just say a Rocky forgot, dude. Cause to me, it looks like a Rocky just bullshitted a lot of things to continue his series and everybody just eats it up. Firstly, the second compartment on the coffin wasn't explained and debunked correctly. So we're gonna knock that off. Uh, he never explained why Holly lost her stand and Jotaro didn't. And for the community to just take the word of some YouTubers have to ask explanation is just... It's just what I honestly expected from the JoJo community. I mean, my entire video predicted the behavior of the JoJo fans and how they'd react to it. The coordinated dislike bomb that I still somehow ratioed with likes. The same unfunny comment being left thousands of times. People saying that Hammond Beats debunked the Rocky Forgot moments even though he debunked them with his imagination and own speculation. But what surprises me is that I don't hear much about JoJo outside of my comment section. Which surprises me because part 6 just came out. Did JoJo fans finally do the impossible? Could it be? They finally shut it the fuck up? 